My name is Deeksha and uh, I'm doing 24 by 7 kind of a job. I'm a homemaker. Uh, my question is, uh, as you have shared, spirituality is a journey, journey of learning yourself, others, and in this journey you keep learning so many things. I did not say that. I mean, in one of the conversations you said that it's a very natural huh? process. You keep understanding about yourself. My point is that uh, when you are in this journey, most of the time uh, I have observed that people shun their family or worldly responsibilities and move in this spiritual world for a larger objective. So considering that, the responsibilities which have been shunned, aren't, aren't they have some responsibility for, for their own family you're members talking, and You are talking about Gautam Buddha or somebody local? <laughs> I think, I think it happens in, in this modern era also where people, once they move to the spiritual world, they, they become individual and they think on a very larger perspective. They don't, don't think about their families and other stuff. And they create their own world too. So uh, first is, is it fair? And second, uh, there are people who are in that catch-22 situation, whether to be, uh, you know, in the world of materialistic, worldly, where you have to follow the responsibilities, and still follow certain advices and still, you know, lead their way or completely move out. So there are two worlds, spiritual world and materialistic world. Still people following certain things, they feel good about the teachings and stuff. I think you should be here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that, I, I, I have a question, that's why I'm not there. That's why. Do I look irresponsible? <laughs> no, no, I, I get you the rhetoric. Thank you. I get the rhetoric. The uh, thing is, see, we have assumed. I'm sorry. Sadhguru, can I have enough? See, we must understand this. Spiritual process means it is not a journey. I have never said that. You read in other books. Spiritual process means it's about turning inward. If you're turning inward, what is the distance between what is you and what is you? <laughs> You and you, there is no distance. When there is no distance, how do you make a journey? It's a thing going on for a long time. That is because people have convoluted ideas of what is spiritual process. Always they told you spiritual process means is about self-knowing. Knowing yourself, maybe you're taking a long time, but still you're not covering distance, isn't it? Because there's no distance to cover. So definitely it cannot be a journey. To make a journey you need distance. You may be taking time, but you… there is no distance to cover. Let this, let's be clear about that. About becoming irresponsible, about if somebody is going through a divorce. See, if you want to divorce somebody, spirituality or… spiritual excuse is a very respectable excuse. You are divorcing <laughs> your wife or husband because of an affair is a bad thing in the society. But you're divorcing because for higher purpose is a very… <laughs> so go so to an ashram for a couple of months <laughs> and you are done <laughs> So somebody may be using that as a ruse, but essentially spiritual process means it's something that you do within yourself, not something that you do around yourself. What you do within yourself in no way demands that you have to be in this place or that place. For a certain moment of consideration, Maybe you want to withdraw for a small period of time. That you do for many things, you want to take an examination, don't you withdraw from your social sphere because you want to study. Similarly, you withdrew for a week or a month, this doesn't mean you've given up life. So this entire idea of spiritual process means I must go to the Himalayan cave. I'm giving you first-hand information, uh, Hir Nandani, uh, <laughs> you must know this. Because there's a… There's he'll, a he'll build a tower no, no, there, there also. Is, there is a business possibility, that's why I'm saying. <laughs> to withdraw to the mountain caves, all the mu caves are taken. Okay. <laughs> there's really no accommodation left no, there. <laughs> so in Mumbai, if you build cave apartments, you may Good idea well <laughs> So you can move into the cave if you wish, but essentially you must understand this. Spiritual process means turning inward. Turning inward means maybe I want to close my eyes and sit for a while, but now if you are such a stupid set of family that if I close my eyes you think I'm going away somewhere, 
Uh, definitely I feel like going away <laughs> Otherwise, there's no need to go away anywhere. Spiritual process is about becoming all-inclusive. This is not about exclusivity, this is about becoming all-inclusive. So where is the question of going away? It's a larger engagement. So there is no such need. But if individual people have needs that they feel they've made a mistake, <laughs> they, they correct themselves, that's not because of spirituality, because of their own individual choices about intuition.